some of our students have asked us what laptop or desktop to buy what should be what's a good configuration to work on machine learning and deep learning so here are my simple guidelines we also want you not to spend a lot of money on this right so personally um, uh, i would i would prefer to buy a desktop because for the same amount of money you can get a much more powerful desktop than a laptop of course you there is a trade off about portability so if portability is not a big issue for you i would recommend you buy a desktop and not a laptop especially for machine learning and deep learning use cases again a desktop can be expanded upon right while a laptop it's much harder to expand some of the components of a laptop right having said that my preferred suggestion is try and get a good uh, good processor with at least at least i mean if if you can afford it try to get a 16 gb or a 32 gb of ram if you can't afford it try to get at least 8 gb of ram right that's of course you can also do some of our assignments and other stuff with even 4 gb of ram but i would seriously recommend you to consider 16 gb or 32 gb or more if you if you have the budget for it please go ahead and buy more ram the reason for getting more ram is because more ram implies more data that you can store in your main memory right so you can lo- you can operate on larger data sets you don't have to sample a lot and things like that right so memory is certainly an important component as far as processors are concerned buy the best processor that you can afford i personally prefer intel processors but it's perfectly okay to get an amd processor if you want to get one okay that's one part the most important part if you want to do deep learning consistently for a long period of time is to get a good gpu a graphics processing unit or as it's called a graphics card um i would recommend you to get an nvidia graphics card because there is lot of nice support uh for nvidia graphics cards and lot of major deep learning toolkits right and lot of deep learning software works much more easily with nvidia graphics cards and again there is a huge range as per your budget i would say, so one of the important components in an nvidia graphics card is something called as a visual ram or vram or it's also called as video ram right the more vram that you have in your gpu graphics card the larger the model that you can build on your graphics card so try to get at least a at least a nvidia graphics card with at least 4 gb i mean if you can afford it try to get a 4 gb nvidia graphics card if you can afford more try to get 6 gb or 8 gb or 12 gb vram right and of course there is a huge spectrum of options there there is something called as gtx so there are various uh, the various uh, graphics cards ranging from nvidia gtx 1050 nvidia gtx 1060 nvidia gtx 1070 1080 and titan x right again uh for most use cases one gpu is more than sufficient but if you really really want to work on some cutting edge bleeding edge deep learning you might want to get multiple gpu system again that requires you to have lot of understanding on how motherboards work how uh, how how to operate with multiple gpus how to cool the system and things like that and my suggestion is if you want to see if your motherboard cpu ram all of them work together there is this very nice website called pc part picker pc part picker.com if you go there if you just pick whatever are the components that you want for your desktop it will help you uh it it will validate and see if these things can be worked together the good thing with a desktop a very very useful thing with a desktop is today you can get 8 gb or 16 gb of ram and at a later point if you need it or if you have more money and if you have larger budget at a later point you can always change it and get a better and just, and just, and just get more and more ram if you need or else you can change your gpu later right so i personally prefer desktops because they are much more flexible and i get more for my money right but for some of you portability may be an important issue in such a case you can get uh, gaming laptops preferably get gaming laptops with nvidia gtx series of graphics cards right T- gtx 1050 1060 10- 1070 or 1080 of course they can get very very expensive very very quickly i've seen gaming laptops for deep learning cost as much as 2 to 3 lakhs in india or about 4000 dollars in the us so depends on your price point so don't try to burn money again please don't overspend the money here i would i would 
I would warn you to be frugal because I've seen people who would get very excited, who would spend a lot of money on getting good hardware and stop using the hardware a few months down the line. So I would recommend you not to over splurge and spend too much money on hardware because you, might, you could use those resources elsewhere. Right? So be cautious, try to spend as little as possible because I believe in the frugal mindset. You should always get what you need and whatever solves your problem. Right? So th these are my recommendations.